And today's tutorial is going to be less of a tutorial and more of a explanation video actually. Um, today I'll be talking about all the buttons that you see here. This whole interface, I'm just going to do a really quick video explaining the interface and uh, what pretty much what each of them do. So when you but if you have everything checked off this is what it would look like you have all this button a uh, toolbar on the left and one on the bottom a thumbnail bar and then you have your publication to edit each of these uh, you would have to go into settings and then the navigation tab so I'll be going over each of these options within the navigation tab and explain what each of them do so show thumbnail bar this is very straightforward this bar right here is the thumbnail bar you can either show it or hide it um, depending on if you want other people to see an extra scroll bar right here um, display background of horizontal toolbar so this toolbar right here that you can't really see it right now but there's an actual background to it because the background color of the toolbar matches the background color of the publication so if you change the uh, publication background to a different color you'll see a nice gray bar behind this toolbar it's essentially there just so that you can actually see the white menus um, auto high toolbar on full screen so you can actually uh, view your publication in full screen mode and sometimes uh, when you check have this checked off when you view it in full screen you will not see the toolbars show horizontal and toolbar uh, horizontal toolbar so um, this is fairly straightforward this is just pretty much choosing where you want this bottom toolbar to show up on you can either show it up on top or bottom or not at all vertical toolbar so this toolbar you can either show it on the left or not at all now comes the actual individual buttons first the table of contents button is this button right here uh, if you created a table of contents and you have this checked off once you click this button it will show you a layout of the table of contents you have created thumbnail view is this one right here um, when you click on it, it's, it looks like uh, pretty much looks like the thumbnail bar down here, except they're laid out in a grid format, and you can actually click on it and it'll jump to the page. It works almost uh, the same as the thumbnail bar, except this one, thumbnail view, is just in a grid format. Share this book is this one right here. This is pretty much sharing your book with, uh, using email. Uh, when you click on this button right here you can insert uh, your email uh, who you want to send it to a little message about it and you can send it by email share on social networking so that would be this button right here you can share it on a couple different uh, social networking platforms that we have so we have Facebook Twitter MySpace dig delicious and Google uh, print is fairly straightforward if you go to print right here you can either choose to print the left page the right page both pages or print selected pages um, the next one down is save as PDF essentially the same thing you can save individual pages uh, selected pages or you can download the entire PDF special note on this download entire PDF if you go into settings navigation right here right under save as PDF you have download entire PDF which is this one right here if you don't have this checked off this won't be here so when you if you, you leave this blank um, and you publish your publication and you upload it online it generates a PDF for you but some people don't have uh, it won't have links or anything within that PDF so you would have if you want like your links working from your original PDF it's easier to just upload your own PDF that you want to upload so when they click download entire PDF they just download the one you uploaded and that also saves a lot of time and 
you, uh, the person downloading won't have to use that much power on their computer to actually download the PDF because if the if this is not here he'll have to generate the PDF from this so it will take a lot more power then you have right below that you have download download you have two versions when you click download you can have exe format or the zip file the exe format works offline the zip also works offline but the zip has a bunch of folders it's essentially you're uh, zipping up the output folder and the person is just downloading your output folder when you generate then you have archive library this um, right here so this this is blank right now but when you populate the archive library with uh, older issues or um, the URL to like other publications that you have relating to this one uh, they can open the archive library and they can click on it and they'll be able to view past publications then you have settings right here it's really simple settings you can enable audio enable flipping sound you can change the default interface language just ba basic uh, settings then you have an about us so just a little info about your book uh, your company's uh, URL and then you have an exit bu uh, close button so and then that's just asking if you want to close the publication then on the right hand side this is the bottom toolbar so audio on off this uh, pretty much just changes if the person can hear the back if you have background audio uh, someone can uh, can use this button right here and toggle it on or off the back button uh, the forward button you know the help help is just essentially just if you hover over help uh, it should be one of the ones right here help tips like this it'll uh, just show you what each of the buttons do a brief description and then you have information so this one right here click on it it goes to whatever uh, website you set it as so this one it would link to uh, our our homepage epagecreator.net you have the zoom button the auto flip button um, the search function so you can actually search through your publication for specific text and words um, the bookmark you can uh, create uh, reader defined bookmarks these bookmarks aren't uh, saved on the actual publication it's saved on your computer so uh, so when you create a bookmark you're the only one who can see it on that computer so if someone else opens the same publication on their computer they will not be able to see your bookmark same goes with notes and highlights you can create your own notes your own highlights all that would be saved on your computer so that when you reopen the same publication the notes the highlights the bookmarks will all be there and full screen mode uh, this button right here so this essentially just toggles if you want to view the publication in regular mode or full screen mode so that was uh, just a brief description or brief video on each of these buttons and um, what each of them do and pretty much if you check them on or off it just depends you just pretty much control who sees what buttons and if you really need the buttons you can leave them on or if you don't need them you can just check them off hope this was helpful and thank you for watching